What's going on everyone? In this one we're going to be making pasta alla norma, which is an eggplant and tomato dish, and there's a good reason as to why this is one of the most popular dishes in the world. It's easy, it's fresh, and of course, it's extremely delicious. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright guys, let's start this off by placing a pot of water onto our stovetop, add in a small handful of sea salt flakes, and bring this to a boil. The first ingredient we're going to need for this is two medium to large size eggplants or aubergines that have a combined weight of 450 grams or 15.8 ounces and with these let's slice off the tips which can be placed into a compost bin then slice these into four even sized strips. Slice each strip into thirds depending on the size then rotate 90 degrees and dice these up into two centimeter pieces trying your best to get this as even as possible which will then leave us with all of this. Next, grab yourself three stalks of basil, which combined weigh 20 grams or 0.7 ounces, and what we want to do with these is gently pick the leaves off of the stems and save the stems to use in our sauce. With the basil leaves, scrunch them up into a tight bunch, grab a nice sharp knife, and then give these a rough chop, which doesn't need to be super fine. Like I said, the stems will be used in the cooking of the sauce, and the leaves here are going to be used to finish our sauce, which will add a delicious and fresh flavour. Moving on with three large freshly peeled garlic cloves, run them along a fine microplane or grater to create a paste which is otherwise known as minced, and make sure to scrape all of the garlic out of the microplane or grater to avoid any wastage. Once the prep's done, let's then add our diced eggplant to a mixing bowl and add in 1.5 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of olive oil, 1 teaspoon or 5 grams of sea salt flakes, and 1 teaspoon or 10 cracks of black pepper for a nice little seasoning. Get your hands in there and rub your eggplant well, getting it fully coated in the oil and seasoning. Transfer it to a baking tray lined with parchment paper, spread it out so it's not all on top of one another, then make your way over to a preheated oven that's been set to 220 degrees Celsius or 430 degrees Fahrenheit and roast for 25 minutes, mixing it around halfway through. Now in the meantime, place a large high rimmed pan onto your stovetop over a medium high heat, pour in 1.5 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of olive oil and add in the minced garlic, stirring it around regularly and saute this for 1.5 minutes. At this stage the pan and oil are still cold so heating this up all together won't be too harsh on the garlic and it will create a delicious infusion which will create an amazing flavour in our sauce. One and a half minutes later add in one can or 400 grams of diced tomatoes, the basil stems that we saved from before, one and a half teaspoons or 1.5 grams of dried oregano, one teaspoon or one gram of dried chilli flakes which is optional, three quarters of a teaspoon or 3.5 grams of sea salt flakes and of course one teaspoon or 10 cracks of black pepper. Give all of this a good mix for those flavours to become friends, then bring this to a boil, reduce the heat to medium low and simmer the sauce for 12 minutes which will greatly enhance the delicious flavour and slightly thicken the sauce too. Now whilst we wait for that, add 450 grams or 15.8 ounces of the pasta of your choice to the boiling water, give it a quick stir, then cook this as per your packet instructions until al dente and the pasta I'm using for this recipe is penne. Going back to the oven which has been roasting the eggplant for 25 minutes and is beautifully golden brown, we can then remove this and pop this aside for a minute or two. The sauce has now been reducing for 12 minutes and is looking exactly how we want it which means we can then remove the basil stems as we really don't want to be eating these. Once the pasta is al dente, spoon it straight out of the water into the sauce, shaking off any excess pasta water, then carefully spoon out half a cup or 125 milliliters of the pasta water and add it to the sauce which from the starch will help the sauce stick to the pasta. Next add in the roasted eggplant making sure not to waste any unless you've already started eating it when it came out of the oven, along with the chopped basil we did earlier. Let's now give this a really good mix, making sure everything is evenly distributed and the pasta is fully coated in the sauce. Give this a quick check for seasoning, adjusting if necessary, then remove it from the stovetop. To serve this up, add the pasta to a bowl, plate or however you want to eat this, you can eat it straight out of the pan if you wanted to. Great over some fresh ricotta salata, which is a firm ricotta, but you can use a pecorino, romano or parmigiano reggiano cheese depending on your taste or access to the cheese. Garnish the pasta with a little bit of roughly chopped basil for a nice freshness and contrast. Crack over some black pepper for that finishing touch. Then for the part that makes this all worthwhile is that we can then dig in. So there we have it. This recipe right here serves two to four people depending on the size of your portions. And to store it, we can place this in the fridge in an airtight container for up to four days. And you can also place it in the freezer in an airtight container for up to six months. To reheat it, place it back in a pan over a medium heat and just heat it up gently till it's nice and hot. Or you can simply place it in a microwave. Just do whatever's easiest for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. It really does help my channel out. And consider subscribing along with hitting that bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and enjoy.